Kvitsa Kvartskelia has been lighting up the Serie A with Napoli this season. He's been showing how good he is lately, scoring extremely well taking goals and displaying his incredible dribbling ability. In fact, he's been so good that Napoli fans are even comparing him to the legendary Diego Maradona and gave him the nickname Kvaradona, despite him only starting to play for Napoli this season. Additionally, his amazing performances are a huge reason why Napoli are running away with the Serie A title this campaign. However, his rise in football has been surprising and unexpected. He comes from Georgia, a country that isn't typically known for football. He also only initially played in the Georgia League and then in the Russian Premier League before having to leave Russia due to political circumstances. So, how did Kvartskelia basically come out of nowhere to become one of Europe's brightest talents? Well, let's start his story by going back to the very beginning. Kvitsa was born in the beautiful capital of Georgia, Tbilisi. There's not much known about Kvitsa's childhood apart from the fact that he joined Dynamo Tbilisi at the youth level. He was killing it at the youth ranks that when he was only 16 years old, he already made his debut for the Dynamo Tbilisi senior team. He also got his first goal for his hometown club a couple months later when he scored versus the Georgia club Shukura, his first of many goals in his career. However, for the next season, Kvitsa made the decision to leave his hometown club and join another Georgia club called Rustavi. That's when Kvartskelia started to get regular game time and ended up getting three goals and three assists in 19 games for his first full professional season. This doesn't tell the entire story of Kvitsa's season though because he balled out for the Georgia U-17s. In fact, almost every Georgia U-17 friendly that season, he had a goal contribution. In total, he had 13 goals and seven assists and 15 international friendlies. Safe to say that Kvitsa was carrying Georgia at such a young age. Anyways, this extremely impressive form for the 17 year old led him to be on the Guardian's best 60 young players list, which finally gave the young Kvitsa some recognition on how good he was. These impressive performances finally caught the attention of clubs at the bigger leagues, and that's when Lokomotiv Moscow, one of the biggest clubs in Russia, signed him on a loan deal. The Russian league was already underway, meaning that Kvitsa was only going to be at the Moscow club for half a season. This also means he didn't get to play much and only got to play 7 games and scored 1 goal in the league. However, Kvitsa showed signs of his talent in these games, and the former Former Lokomotiv Moscow manager Yuri Semen wanted the club to sign him on a permanent deal. However, the club failed to agree on a permanent transfer with Kvartskelia, and Yuri Semen came out and said, "Losing that extremely talented boy made me cry." Damn, Yuri Semen knew that the boy was special since the very beginning. Now, Kvitsa's time in Russia was not over because he signed a permanent deal to another Russian club called Rubin Kazan. Kvitsa's performances at Rubin Kazan finally led him to get more mainstream attention, with top European clubs finally taking notice of him. And how could they not? He was so underrated just because he played in the Russian league. However, Kvitsa was so good that in Leg Keep's list of the top 50 best young players in the world born 2001 or after, Kvitsa was on the list at the number 34 position, being the only player on the list that played in the Russian league. With the publication as big as Leg Keep taking notice of the boys' talents, obviously big European clubs were taking notice as well, and it felt like Kvitsa should already have been playing in a big Western Europe club and not in Russia. However, Kvitsa staying in Russia was a pretty smart idea because he wasn't ready yet despite being really talented. That's because in his first season, he only managed to get 3 goals and 5 assists in 28 games. Not bad, but he definitely needed to improve on these stats if he wanted to shine in the biggest leagues. The next season, Kvitsa obviously improved with Ruben Kazan, scoring 4 goals and getting 8 assists in 23 games. This is definitely an improvement compared to last season and he's showing that he's starting to get used to playing professional footballer at a higher level compared to Georgia. He also finally started to play with the Georgian senior national team and participated in the World Cup qualification games. And although Georgia didn't qualify, Kvitsa did manage to get 4 goals in the 6 games he played, which pretty much signified that he's a star player for the country considering how crucial he is for the team. For the 2021-22 season, Kvitsa was ready to go again for Ruben Kazan and was happy to play his third season for the club. Now, his stats definitely downgraded compared to the last season, with him only getting 2 goals and 5 assists in 19 games. However, he was getting more consistent minutes for Ruben Kazan, which is obviously a plus. But then, something crazy and unprecedented happened with Kvitsa's time in Russia. The Russian president says a military operation is now underway in eastern Ukraine. And there are reports of explosions and attacks at several major Ukrainian cities. Russia decided to invade Ukraine in late February 2022. FIFA obviously was not happy with what Russia were doing, so they eliminated all Russian clubs from European competitions and even banned Russia from the World Cup in Qatar. Additionally, FIFA announced that due to the Russian invasion of Ukraine, foreign players in Russia can suspend their contracts and were allowed to sign with clubs outside of Russia even though the transfer window wasn't open. Kvitsa took advantage of this opportunity and made the decision to suspend his Ruben Kazan contract and decided to join Dynamo Batumi in Georgia. At the time, this did feel like a step back in Kvitsa's career, considering that the Georgia league is a step lower than the Russian league, which already isn't the best league itself. However, it really wasn't Kvitsa's choice to go back to Georgia. He desperately wanted to move to clubs in Western Europe and the Georgia national team manager, Sagnol, tried to help him with the move. However, it didn't work out due to the fact that there was skepticism in signing the Georgian star. Sagnol was even told that one of the reasons that big European clubs didn't want to sign Kvitsa is because he's just Georgian, he's not Brazilian, it's less glamorous. 
Hawks. These reasons were why Kavija had no choice but to go back to Georgia and play for Dynamo Batumi. Now, citizens of Georgia were already obsessed with Kavartskelia. In fact, according to the New York Times, whenever any Georgian club played Kavija's team, the atmosphere became like a top Champions League game. Every single seat in the stadium was sold out just so they could watch the future star boy of Georgia. His amazing dribbling technique always kept the fans engaged with the game and even cheered him on after every single touch. Not just the fans of Dynamo Batumi though, but even the rivals were cheering for him too. That's how you know Kavicha was already well on his way to becoming Georgia's best world-class player. Now Kavicha enjoyed his short spell with Dynamo Batumi with him getting 8 goals and 2 assists in 11 games and almost having a goal contribution in every single league game he played that season. Clearly Kavicha had become too good for the Georgia league and the summer transfer window had to be the time where he moved to a top 5 European league. And that's exactly what he did. In the summer there were a ton of big European clubs after him with Ajax, Juventus and Napoli being the front runners. Ajax decided that they didn't want to spend in the 8 figure range for someone who did well in the Georgia league so they backed out. Now Juventus were apparently the leaders in the race compared to Napoli. However due to the sporting director of the club Fabio Baratici leaving Juventus to join Tottenham, Juventus couldn't get the deal done. That's when Napoli decided to snap Kavicha up for around 10 million euros and got him on a deal lasting until 2027. And nobody expected what Kavicha has accomplished this season. It all started in Kavicha's debut for Napoli against Hellas Verona where Napoli won 5-2. However that's not the important part. In the first Serie A game of his life Kavicha managed to score and assist on his debut. An extremely strong start for the Georgian star. Then in the next game against Monza, Kavicha went on and bagged two goals. The Serie A seemed light work for him. And honestly, it is, because in 19 Serie A games so far, he's got 10 goals and 11 assists. Kavicha literally has more goal contributions than Serie A games played this season. That's mad, especially considering that this is his first time playing in a top 5 league. It doesn't stop there though, because in the 6 Champions League games he's played in so far, he's gotten 2 goals and 4 assists, and absolutely cooked Trent Alexander-Arnold when they faced Giants Liverpool in the group stages. The role was finally taking notice of Kavicha as Napoli sat back and realized they've got themselves a gem. In fact, Kavicha was doing so well that the Napoli fans gave him the biggest compliment that he could possibly ever receive. They gave him the nickname Cavaradona, which is his name mixed with the legendary Diego Maradona, one of the best players of all time and the best player to play for Napoli. Napoli fans adore Diego Maradona. He is everything to them. They've even named their stadium after him, the Diego Armando Maradona Stadium, and even permanently retired the number 10 jersey because of him. So the fact that Kavicha is being compared to Diego Maradona by Napoli fans themselves is already a huge compliment to the Georgian star boy. Kavicha, more than anyone, reminds Napoli fans of Diego Maradona due to his direct style of dribbling and deadly pace, which makes it so hard for defenders to stop him just like it was with Maradona himself. To sum it up, Kavicha is a star on Naples just like Maradona was back in his day. Kavicha has finally taken the world by storm that it was about time that the mainstream media gave him his flowers that he deserves. Even recently, Liverpool legend and now football pundit Jamie Carragher came out and said that Kavicha is a special player and could achieve anything in his football career. Carragher also said that he could totally see him at the biggest club in the world, Real Madrid. That's funny he said that because Kavart Skelia has expressed before that he had been a Real Madrid fan since childhood and his biggest dream is to actually win the Champions League with Real Madrid. If Kavicha keeps up at this pace, these dreams he has could definitely turn into reality. I see the vision. Kavicha overall is an extremely talented player and is someone who has become one of Euro's best players this season. Everyone is so in awe of him that every day there is a new highlight video of Kavicha's amazing season at Napoli. At the moment, nobody has anything bad to say about Kavicha Kavart Skelia. Everyone is just enjoying watching him play the beautiful game. He also could be the man that could finally get Georgia qualified for their first official international tournament. With Euro 2024 qualifications coming up and with Georgia being in a doable group, it's possible Kavicha could lead his country to glory, especially considering that Georgia have been in good form and have been able to stay undefeated since December 2021, besides the loss to Morocco right before the World Cup. Anyways, I'm just excited to see Kavicha continue to take the footballing world by storm, and who knows, maybe the next Diego Maradona is actually being made right in front of our eyes. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to subscribe if you really enjoyed this video. I would really appreciate it. Thank you. Kind of proud of myself that I didn't make a Georgia USA joke in this video. Not gonna lie.